Welcome to episode 49. We want to see your helmet pictures and we have more than we can keep up with. Keep them coming. Email them to pics at greengridiron.com. Yes, P-I-C-S at greengridiron.com. And the reality is what else are you doing? You're stuck at home. You're trying to figure out, I don't know, the new dance move to put on TikTok or something. Go out, put your helmet on, then do the dance move and tag us while you're in there, I guess. I don't know. All right, so we got a bunch of photos to get to today. Let's start off with Elam, E-L-A-M. How do you think you say that? Jay? I would go with Elam. Oh, yeah? I knew someone named Elizabeth Elam. Oh, well. Yeah. All right, Elam. Uh, you put this in a tree. It is floating in a tree. I love it. It's cool. It's like the... It's right in the middle of the tree. I don't know. You could talk about this, Steve. It's almost like the tree is exploding around the helmet. Right? <laughs> now, there's a bird bath in the back. And that would have been amazing if there was a bird in there and all that. Well, but that's let's, let's, not, let's not push it. I, I, I'll, I'm going to give him some extra points for creativity. And he's got the, a Shock 1.0 visor here and a Speed Flex with a HD face mask. This looks like the SF2BD. HD. You can tell it's an HD by those bars at the top, how they kind of pinch together on the sides. And then we've also got the new shock visor clips on there as well. Very nice. And we got a matching Riddell hard cup chin strap. Uh, overall, pretty good. I can see some nicks and dings on this helmet. That means it's been used. Uh, and then it looks like we've got a sports star buckle on the side. So that's nice too. This is an older chin strap, you can tell, because it's got the ratchet mechanism uh, on the bottom there uh, instead of the cam locks, which were new for 2019. And I think that all of the chin straps that we sell now have that new cam lock system, which I got to say, it's better. It is better. It's smoother. It's easier to take on and off. It's just, it's just better. Yeah. yeah. So Elam, thank you very much for uh, purchasing some of those pieces at least at Green Gridiron. We really do appreciate it. Uh, overall, Steve, where do you go with this helmet? I, 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 like I said, extra points for the creativity of putting it in the, in the shrub or the tree or whatever that is. I am going to go with 7.1. Yeah. Start this thing off. I think that that makes sense. Starting off with a nice field use helmet. Next up is Juan, and let's start off with this. So he says, hi, Green Gridiron. I'm Juan, and my son Pop and I are huge fans. Uh, he started playing football at five years old. Yeah. The son is Pop. Yeah, that's what's I, interesting. I like that. Go NP Blackhawks. Here's a few pics of his old helmet from day one. He's gone through some changes. He's going to be getting an F7 soon. So... There we All go. Right. Okay, so love the, the, the picture wearing the helmet. We got the green gridiron uh, front 3D bumper on there. The, it's, it, he's done some work to get that in there because when you put that bumper, those are kind of thick. It's like a rubbery material. It makes it more difficult to put the clips back in on top of it to hold the face mask in. So appreciate the little bit of extra work you did there to kind of give us, show us some love, so to speak. Then it looks like we got a sleeps visor and some Under Armour clips on there. Must have come from a different helmet. This is a DNA helmet. Looks like it was painted. Probably started off white and then painted yellow. Oh, uh, yeah. Good eye. Where, yes. Where, 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 yeah, where the paint kind of chipped off there. Yeah. Uh, Steve, we all know that I'm not much of a fan of the DNA helmets out there, but this one does have, you know, some some extra pieces to kind of give it some love. So I'm going to go, uh, it's going to get knocked for being a DNA, but it's going to get some love for all the pieces. I'm going to go with a 6.3. And I can't wait to see Pops F7 when that guy comes in. I'll tell you what, if you purchase it at Green Gridiron, make sure that you leave a note in there and we will build it in a video because I have a feeling that you're going to want to get some uh, upgrades. Uh, as far as the F7 helmets go, I would recommend the Shock 1.0 visor. Seems to fit those face masks really well. Yes, that's right. That would be a fun video to do for sure. Yeah, for sure. Thank you, man. Go pop. Play safe. Yeah, and thanks. All right, here we go. Next up is Sean. Ah, he spells it the same way my brother spells it. He says, hey, I'm a huge fan of Green Gridiron. Being a coach, you guys help me keep up with the latest technology and styles. Keep up the great work. 
Thank you, man. Jay, All right, Sean. Well, check these out. Yeah, these are nice. Uh, so this has that, you know, the, Steve, it was back, I don't know, 2013. Somebody out there correct me, correct me because I'm probably wrong on the year that Navy wore this type of look where they used a gold mm -hmm. uh, kind of a chrome band and they had the Navy on the bottom and the white on the top. It was actually a textured paint that they used on that helmet. But I love the look. I love it on this one. Steve, my s sister, who was kind of into fashion when I was growing up, said you don't mix black and purple. I say, why not? I like it. Very nice stuff. S Steve, on this guy, I'm going to go with a 7.3. Jay, I like your decisions. You're, you're fast at it today, you know? You're, yeah. you, you, you know what you're getting. Steve, you on the other hand, a little slow here, popping up the new pictures. I am. I am. And Sean, thank you very much for submitting that helmet. Really appreciate it. Yes. So next up is Ron. And Ron has sent in helmets once before. He made that Delta Force. Yes. Um, yeah. So he's at it again. And this is another thing that he made himself and he's giving to his best friend. Love the color combination here. This gray and, and blue and white and red, that's not something that you really see. It's actually an orange, not a red, and, and with the stars there. Yeah. See guy, I'm assuming that's Chicago. Uh, yeah. Is there, any, is there any backstory in here to tell us one way or another? He says, the task my next project, um, it's to pay homage to my hometown. I'll be gifting this to my best friend for his game room, some extra details, mess around with old hockey lid, and thought I would share that too. It's discontinued Rawlings. No, no, that's that's it. So I guess Southside Chicago. Yeah. So this is something that is. This is exactly what you want to do with an old, discontinued helmet out there. Is turn it into something new and cool and creative. I am going to go with a seven point nine, and. That's really, I, I, you know, that's really a good score for something like this. I'm not a fan of that face mask on the on the Rawlings helmet so much, um, and I would love to see a visor in here. But overall, I think these are great, and I love the extra attention to detail and the thought that goes behind this. I think that this guy has a real eye for design. Um, his color choices have been excellent. Um, I love what he's doing. Photos get the job done. Really nice, clean. T thank you for taking them outside. Uh, good work, man. And, and, you, and you know, Steve, going back to the color choices there, it, there's a lot of colors here. It's, right. And it's not easy to mix these colors together and to have them come out and look that way and have them be unique at the same time. And I think that this hits all of those or checks all of those boxes. Yeah, it's good stuff. Next up is Ryan B. And he says, this is a custom helmet I created for a fan of the high school football team in winter South, D I'm sorry, winter South Dakota. Nicknamed the school is Warriors. The winter Warriors. I like it. And Steve, I'm going to guess that you like these photos. The photos are really good, really good. So he's, so he's got a lot, of, a lot of little things that he's done here. So we got a two-tone chrome face mask with a fade, all right? And it's a nice fade. It's a nice, even, tight fade, I would call this, because you don't really see where the line is. Um, we got a sleeves visor that looks like it's kind of designed to match the face mask a little bit. We've got the Riddell front and rear bumpers that were painted to match the whole color scheme. The chin strap and or the chin strap sh straps, the uh, screws, the bladder screws, the, the quick release pins, everything has been painted to match. That's all a, a goldish type color. I think it's all pretty cool. Um, the decals on the back, we got a nice warning label that matches. Looks like that one's a, would you say is purple, Steve? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And then I'm assuming that that, that is a nice gold uh, state outline of South Dakota. That's and then great. we've got a chrome American flag as well. Love to see the American flag on all of these helmets so far, I think. And then we've got kind of that sword. And this is a double tipped sword, Steve? Yeah. Yeah, and it ends perfectly right at the flex part. 
and at the back at that black batter, bladder valve, he cut out for it. Jay, this yeah, is, I, I wonder if that was cut, if that was printed to be that exact measurement, or if it was cut somewhere in the middle on the top that we can't see. Uh, Steve, I'm going to go with the highest score of the day for this guy thus far with an 8.3. Nora, 8.3. Oh, yeah, a lot of work went into it. Yeah, man. And, and, and uh, I'm surprised that wasn't higher. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, I mean, you yeah. Know. That's, that's just me. That's what you All get, right. Steve. I guess I'm hard today. That's okay. You, you're allowed. Next up is Blake. And this is his homemade Auburn Tigers helmet. So we got a lot of things on here that are like right out of the gate. The matching Under Armour uh, visor decals on there. We have an Auburn sock, got in the chin cup. That's nice. I'll say, Steve, what you know, we used to have some of the Under Armour um, face or visor clips for that would have been perfect for this helmet. I'm almost positive we sold out of them. And we're not able to get more, at least not right now, maybe in the future. So go check that out on our website. You can sign up to be alerted if we get more in stock. These teams, they change them every year. And sometimes if they, if they don't order more, there's not really any way to get them because the minimums are really too high. You get the SEC, you get the RB. I don't know, what, or the RB, what does the RB say? You know what that is? So uh, overall, Steve, good luck here. You're losing points because you used the DNA helmet. But that's okay. This guy's still going to come out with a nice score. And we're going to go with an 8.2. Yeah, man. All right. Now we're talking. Next up is Cameron. Hey, my name is Cameron. I played linebacker at Clear Brook High School in Houston, Texas. And these are pictures of my senior year in 2019. The speed flex, shock visor, and black clips, sports star, chin strap, and adapters. Here we go. He knows, he knows his gear. Yes. Uh, these these are some nice shots, too. As a matter of fact, he might be the first person that only sent in pictures of him wearing the helmet and not just the helmet itself. I'm, I'm almost surprised that uh, you allowed this on the show, Steve. But I think that these are pretty good pictures, so I guess that that warrants it. Yeah, yeah. We got, okay. a nice, we, got, we, got, we got a nice chrome decal on here. It looks like a pretty standard, you know, flat black or matte black helmet we've got a ribbon decal on the back uh we've got a, a visor and it looks like an oakley visor but with under armor i think it's a shock 2.0 oh that's right he said it was a shock 2.0 visor because he was looking at that curvature on there and then yeah. he's got some under armor um visor clips holding that thing on we got a matching chin strap we've got some upgrade components on the side there you got that sports star adapter there overall this is a pretty good a good setup uh steve for this um, this is going to get a score as a game used or you know something that is our field use helmet yeah and uh, but he's going to lose some points because we didn't get to see close-up photos of the helmet and that's one of the instructions right i agree yeah i love so, seeing helmet pictures on the people but you also got to send them yeah. nice and tight so we can analyze it don't but don't worry cameron you still got on the show somehow you're able to get past the guards i guess somehow. it was the photos they were good yeah. photos so, Steve, I'm going to go with this guy. Let's go with a 7.1. All right, cool. That's not too bad at all. Next up is Reese. And Reese is from England. Uh, oh, boy. Yeah. Hi, I'm Reese. I'm 15 from Oxford, England. I pay for the Oxford Saints youth team. Helmet's nothing special at the moment, but he wants to get a visor and some stuff. Um, it would mean so much to make it on the show. So here you go. These are nice pictures, Steve, wouldn't you say? Excellent. I love the idea of this one down here. Yeah, oh. that's pretty good. Is And this is, it looks like this is, in fact, a Rawlings helmet. And, you know, we see players wearing Rawlings gear or gear that has been discontinued in the U.S. We see them in in Europe and in other parts of the world wearing this because sometimes it's the, it's all they can get their hands on, and they've got to get their equipment to last a lot longer because it's just so much more difficult to have all of the options that we have here in the U.S. So this, you know, I, I don't know how long he's been wearing this, but you, you can see this the the decal on the back that says 2015. 
I don't remember what the last year Rawlings was that they made helmets. It was either 15 or 16, though. Uh, so it might be time for a new lid because these ones are now outside of the, the like, I don't think you can get components to upgrade this helmet and they need to be reconditioned over time. Yeah, really good point. And if you're 15 going on 16, you need to get yourself a nice new adult helmet. Make sure it's an adult helmet, but th these are good pictures, man. Very nicely done. I love seeing the American football game in other parts of yeah. the country gaining popularity. We got to get this guy an American flag for the back of that. Yeah, and you know what, Steve? We also have the Union Jack that you can throw on there as well oh, yeah. uh, that's available on our website. Uh, and I got to say, we've been working really aggressively with FedEx to get decent rates going outside the country because we know there's a huge demand there. So I know that FedEx is kind of doing their part to get things over there quickly. I don't know about right now with the virus and all that stuff that's going on. For this guy, though, Steve, I think that, you know, it's a little concerning to me that you're playing with a helmet that's out of date. Um, but overall, you know, pretty basic setup. Uh, nothing, you know, extraordinary about it. I'm going to go with a 6.0 for the helmet. And I can't wait until you've up, either upgraded this one or gotten yourself a new one because I got a feeling that if you go down that path you're gonna you're gonna do some things to it so definitely send us some more pictures in the future uh, once you get either this one upgraded or get a new one in your hands yes thank you Reese play safe next up is Brandon and this has a lot going on this is a before and after so this is wow. before and it, he did not give a description unbelievably with this. I wish he did because he looks like he made a 50-50. So here we go. Here's some before. Okay. Looks like a, a blue helmet that was painted white. Oh, nice. So here's one side. The other side's a raven. So if this is, is, it, is, it, is this Louisville and raven? So this must be Lamar Jackson. Got some cool things in here. So he's got the NFL radio decal, which as we know, we've gone over this in the past. One player on offense, one player on defense gets to have the headset in their helmets for the coaches to call in plays. He's got the what appears to be the legit numbers on the back of the helmet. Uh, he's got the NFL 100 uh, decal on there. That's nice. He's got the American flag on the right side. That's nice. He's got the, the 3D bumpers on this guy. This is taking some work, and Steve, he's got the exact face mask that L Lamar Jackson wears. He's one of the few guys. He's the only guy I can think of off the top of my head. I know there are some other guys out there, but he wears Lamar Jackson wears the SF2EGSW face mask, so it's pretty uncommon to see a quarterback wearing a face mask with eye guards, so that's kind of interesting. And, you know, he had a lot of different uh, options that he could have chosen to go for the Louisville side of this helmet. I think I like the one that he chose. For a 50-50, maybe one of their white helmets would have been, stood out more. Um, mm -hmm. But he probably wanted to go with a version where the face mask didn't need to be painted. Uh, you know, so Baltimore obviously wears a black face mask. I don't know exactly if Louisville wears a black face mask with that look or not, but I think that overall this is a this is a really nice job. We actually split the mask too. The mask has oh, is it painted? Yeah, oh, yeah you're right. See, it is painted. So yeah. he went with he he's really gone out. So he used the same color paint in painting that face mask as the rest of the helmet. I think that's a nice job. You, can you see a tape line? You really can't, dude. This is amazing paint job. If he did this himself, I mean. This might have been done in an auto body shop or something. I don't know, but wow. Uh, Steve, we're going to go with an 8.8. .8. All right. All right. Yeah. Dude, very good job, Brandon. Thank you. And next up and last of the day already is Nick. A nice looking visor and a nice looking face mask. And those two things alone really take this helmet to another level. So if you're looking to upgrade your look, this is a both of those two things are the two easiest ways to do it because a lot of times with when you're on a, a team you can't really do all that much to the helmet it's, it's the team design is the team design yeah maybe you can put a throw a decal or two on the back 
Um, but it's the face mask and the visor are the things that you can really step up. I guess you could step up your chin strap game a little bit too. But I love this here. This is the SF2EG TX face mask. Um, this color face, this color visor, this is a sleeves visor, but Shock has the same colors. You it's kind of a clear bluish color. I don't know what sleeves call, calls it. Uh, for Shock, it's the clear, yeah. what is it? Sleeve? Sky. The clear sky. So overall, Steve, I'm going to go with a pretty decent score here. It's a nice, clean, fresh looking face mask and, and visor combination with the white. Let's go with a 7.4. Very nice. And this is all about the pictures for this one. He made this thing look really good. The only thing I'm not a fan of with this one, and normally it doesn't bother me, irks me the sleeves branding on this one. I, do, I don't know why. I just, I would remove it if you could, but that's, that's me. Um, other than that, really nice. You know, really good. So yeah, that's good all stuff. We had some really, we had, we had some really good photos today. Yeah, we really did. And they are constantly coming in and we want to see yours if you think you can hang with these and you can beat them email your photos picks at greengridiron.com yeah love the creativity of some of these keep it up really really enjoy seeing that like subscribe click the notification bell for more videos like this until next time cheers cheers thanks for watching